What's new in Charlie's? What's new in Charlie's? Still on Main. What's new in Charlie's? Tell me what's new in Charlie's? Still on Main. Hi, welcome back to another edition of What's New at Charlie's. Well, today we're going to try some uh, something new, uh, something new into the market. Um, just came out. Um, I've heard some good buzz about this from uh, some some friends that I trust their opinion. They said these guys are making really good stuff, and uh, and they're not from Kentucky, Don. My good friend uh, Don Williams of Bourbon Four, everybody. Don, can it be bourbon if it doesn't come from Kentucky? It can. It absolutely can. Uh, <laughs> That's an inside joke. How many right? times you've been asked that? Yeah, oh, exactly. a bunch of times. Yeah, we um, all get that. So, but yes, bourbon could come from anywhere in the United States, in America, right? And this is our first North Carolina from whiskey. From North Carolina, yeah. North Carolina whiskey. Absolutely, yeah. Get uh, we've covered a lot of ground in these videos, and this is the first North Carolina one. And the interesting thing is, just last week we tried a different North Carolina whiskey. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, and then, uh, so we just keep going on from there. And uh, it's so important we got three instead of just one. I, you know, three bottles is always a good thing. Always a good thing. Always uh, a good thing. Southern Distilling uh, has been around since 2013. They were founded in 2013 by a husband and wife team. And it, they're doing a lot of really interesting things. So what we have here is we have a rye whiskey, something called double rye, which I'm really excited to try. Yeah, yeah. And then a their bourbon is called Paragon, and it's a weeded bourbon, and this one happens to be a single barrel at cast strength. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, really good choices, and um, look at the color on the double rye. Yeah, it looks very nice, very nice, yeah. Um, yeah, and this one too, both of them. Yeah. So uh, there are, there were six, of, three other expressions here. Uh, these were the three I could get my hands on uh, right now. So, and, but I think it's a nice, like you said, a nice little mix of things. We got rye, double rye, and a weeded bourbon, cast drink. So, uh, um, but I'm looking forward to giving them a try. Uh, we got three, so I'm gonna get right to it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a ball. Go ahead and uh, anything else you got to, uh, Throw in there. We'll start with the rye. Yep. Uh, so the rye is um, 90 proof, 60 corn, 36 rye. So it is a high rye mash bill. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, I assume that it's the same mash bill for the double rye. Okay. Uh, but it's a blend. Okay. So I have a feeling that it's a blend of different ages. Okay. But I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. It's a nice mix of the corn and the bark and the rye. A little sweet on the front end, but you get the rice spice after it, yeah? Yeah, you get that spicy finish. Mm -hmm. Well, for a uh, younger company, you know, they've been, I think, bottling since 2017, uh -huh. not that long. Right. This is a pretty smooth product. Oh yeah, dude. To, yeah. To have are, out there already. Are there any age statements on these? Doesn't really say. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. But uh, no, that's that's a nice product right there. Now these are, you know, like last week we did the two hundred fifty six hundred dollar bottle of bourbon. These 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 are more in, I would guess in the fifty sixty dollar range, probably at the highest. So I mean, you're talking a, a different class of bourbon, but this is fan. This is a great drinker right here. Right. Um, so they're they're located about forty five miles west of uh, Winston Salem, and. Uh, as you know, my youngest son has been living in Carolina yeah. for a while. Yeah. Um, and uh, this is another one that the next time I'm down there, I'm going to look them up. Their craft distillery is supposed to be state of the art. Um, 
and it looks like they are doing a lot of cool things. Um, for the next one. Yeah. yeah, one of the things that, and I actually wrote this down so I wouldn't mess it up. Okay. Uh, on their website, it says that their promise is to savor the moment, and they have some tenants, and the tenants are stay true to self, give a damn, dare to win, and be grateful. And I, like, I think that's really cool. I like all of that. That's great. Um, More people know, gave a damn. We'd be in good shape. We'd be in better shape. Um, so, cheers on cheers. this one. Wow. Now there's some rye. Yeah. There's some rye coming out of this. Almost a caraway rye. Yeah. know the mash bill on this one is it the same it's it's a blend of straight rye whiskeys okay so this has probably got higher rye content than this and this is this yeah so this one's double rye that's that's why the sweetness is there yeah and this has got all the rye spice right exactly well that's why i like that little bit of sweetness on it this was this was really good too now the big but the big dog i uh now this one is 114.2 proof, uh, and we learned to save the high proofer to the end. We, we have we're, learned over. We're, we're getting smarter. We've done a few videos now. We've learned not to start with the big dog, so we save that till the end. And then once the camera's off, who knows? It's all off. But cheers, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this one is 70% corn, 16% wheat, and 14 barley. So this actually, it evens out a little bit mm -hmm. after it's been open. Yeah. Uh, because I'm learning a lot about neck pour, that a lot of times there's not a lot of oxygen in the bottle and it needs to open a little bit. Okay. And so the very first couple pours you get, they can be kind of stiff. Uh -huh. They don't really open up. But this is... The more air it gets, the better it gets. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it was a lot of alcohol at the first, but it seems to be. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's dissipating. It's that's dissipating, and you can get yeah. Get that's what flavor. I was talking about. The neck pour is mm -hmm. you get that big jolt. Yeah, there's some good flavors in there. I get like a cardamom. Do you get that? A little bit. And the sweet from the corn, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it it has, a, I guess, what we would have to call a North Carolina hug. It does have a hug, but you know what? Like I said, after the after it's set here for a minute, it's uh, definitely much much more uh, drinkable right now. So the interesting thing is. Uh, A lot of the weeded that I have tasted recently is not as bold as this. This is a pretty bold, good flavor yeah. um, whiskey. And, yeah. and I, I will tell you that um, for a company that I confess I did not know a lot about, uh, obviously, but uh, they're making some good product. Absolutely, man. It'll be uh, exciting to see what they do in the future. Um, and where they go with this, but uh, the, I, these are all solid, man. These are all good, and uh, you know, not going to cost you an arm and a leg. And uh, now I want to try the other three. 
maybe next week's video. We'll see. I'll see if I can dig them up. I don't know. But uh, I like, like I said, someone I value their opinion told me that they had been there and they're doing really nice stuff. And then, and I agree with them. I think that they're doing a fantastic job. And uh, well, I look forward to trying some of their other products and seeing what else they bring to the market. So, well, what I look forward to is I'd really like to go meet these people. I'd really yeah, like to yeah. go see what they're doing. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think they're off to a really good start. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, next time I'm in Statesville, North Carolina, I'll have to, you know, we used to stay there when I was a kid. Really? When we'd go on vacation, Statesville was halfway. So we'd stay in Statesville. Every, and there was nothing there. Yeah. So. I'm excited now to uh, have a reason to go back. A little, a little trivia about Statesville. Okay. At, at one time, they were a big railroad kind of hub. Okay. And they ended up back in the day in the 1800s shipping a lot of whiskey out of that region, an awful lot of whiskey. And the Carolina, Carolina passed statewide prohibition in 1909. They were the first southern state to pass prohibition. Uh, so ha that's why this, all the good bootleggers came from North Carolina. <laughs> a lot of them did. Junior Johnson. <laughs> uh, and you know, bottom line is, well, when I was researching Statesville, uh -huh. four NASCAR drivers have come out of state. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, uh, four NASCAR started for the bootleggers. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know. Uh, Southern Star, you're doing a great job. Yeah. And uh, I'm anxious for people to come in here and try this and let us know what they think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, you're always free to leave a comment. Let us know what you think about everything. Um, you know, and uh, good stuff, Don. Yeah, nice. Try this again. I'll just set even longer, man. It's even sweeter now. The flavor's getting better and better. Almost, uh, now it's almost nutmeg too a little, a little bit yeah little, yeah yeah a lot of baking spices yeah yeah nice stuff guys well keep up the good work down there in the carolinas and uh hey we'll come see you soon or you come see us either one cheers buddy cheers thank you everyone for thank watching you. yep what's new in charlie still on main what's new in charlie's Tell me what's new, Charlie's still